such a low growth as well. Oh well. This one has an even better range, but yeah, it's expensive. Apparently it's ahead of its time. Fighters may be needed because you do need aerial superiority, so I might have the whole, you know, one fighter a month popping up. Jake France landed near Rome, exclamation. Wow. Was there an event for that or did I just miss it completely? The French are planning their comeback. Their comeback tour here. Are we sure that's France? No, it's Sweden. Of course it's not the French. Might be a lot of things wrong with Swedes, but they can get some stuff done. Like protecting Big Brother Denmark. Alright, US, what are you even doing? Are you going to help out crushing Japan or not? You did declare war on them after all. So I'll get you over to Tobruk, it's all part of the state, but you can defend that. Starts producing some real good mechanized. Hey, we're almost done with the new ones that we can deploy. God knows what I'm going to do with them because this front, I don't like it one bit. And uh, yeah, they might have a plan for this, but I'm not seeing it come to fruition there, Soviets. Like they're still getting blasted apart by the Germans. Jake, in my opinion, it's never too late for field hospital. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, sure, if you want to fight me, go ahead, but... And this whole war started over the Soviets attacking the Finnish, who decided to join the Axis. Huh. The Soviets are actually... they've got a small army. A disappointingly small army. That's probably why things are going not so hot for them. But so much of it is focused on Japan, that's where the real issue is. The original plan was to send my units over so I could help uh, seal off Japan. But the Soviets are just having a hard time of it. They don't want to press forward here. I can kind of see why, but it's leading to one hell of a drawn-out war, which should have been over by now. Jake, do you play with historical focuses? Yes, I do. Now this place wants to resist as well. I can just send a couple of soft touchers down there, and they'll have it. Uh, also, your job is now to get on that line. Lost France tries to make a comeback in Africa. Come on, I took over the important part of Africa. You could at least uh, pull a bit of weight, allies. America has a huge army. Or they might have 20, we don't know. But I think it's a good, uh, fair guess that it's quite huge. Turkey is strong. They are... They're a really fun nation to play. If you're looking for a non-major to start out as, I would recommend Turkey. Not my concern. So you're working your way down there. You're keeping Cairo under wraps. It's sad, but there's so little left for my nation to be able to do. Shock and awe, the army gets more hard and soft attack, and we can break through. Counters an ambush, countered by backhand blow. Not the 
counting on it. Whew. Nah, Jake, US is a weak knee democracy. You can take them on. Ugh. Excuse me. Jake, you're boosting communists in Turkey. Coup, maybe. Coup will take a long time. Also, it'll use a whole bunch of infantry equipment that I'm not sure if I have. Oh, lovely. How did that happen? Yugoslavia? Sweden? Oh, I love you guys. I mean, granted, I did all the hard work knocking out their ability to get everything out of Italy, but uh, out of Africa, but... Italy, you're on the verge of tears here. Let's, uh, let's get some numbers on that. Italy is 44% of the way towards capitulation. Uh, yeah. And all they need to do is lose Naples as well, and they're well down on that. Great news. I was thinking about something before that, and I completely forgot what in the world was I looking at. Something researchy? Ah, who knows and cares. Whew. Almost 2,000 viewers. Jake must be very happy. Nope. Oh, I was looking at Turkey and coups, that's right, and I want to figure out just how much infantry equipment is that to me. I have tons of weapons, more than I really need. I could be dropping all this weapon uh, production happily and focusing on something else, so I will. Hold on, it still says I have a total need of it. No, we have loads of this stuff. 11,000 stored up. So we'll have our production of weapons, because we simply don't need it. We'll get that artillery that we want to upgrade with. And then later on we might produce more mechanized. And I need to keep some on the side for strategic bombers too. Well, we'll have a couple of these going for strat bombers. <laughs> Six a year, that's more than necessary. Jake, I'm late to the party, but who are you? Uh, my name is Jake. I'm from Scotland, but here I am in... Uh, so, no, I know what you mean. We are playing as Bhutan. We went communist, and we are now the Union of Red Dragons. And, uh, yeah. I'd originally planned to destroy the Soviet Union. In the end, we partnered up with the Soviet Union to destroy the Axis. The Axis have cleaved through France. It consists of Spain, Germany, Italy, and some miners. But most recently, Turkey have decided to join. Turkey is a bother, because it ties up a lot of my troops just defending. By a lot of my troops, I mean my army is pitiful. These 28 are not regulars. They are just there to uh, suppress any revolts. Not revolts, but partisan activities. Which means 24 are tied up simply defending the line against Turkey. I can't reasonably attack into that. Which gives me 10,000, or rather 10 wild cards, which are used to do god knows what over in Africa. Get out of here, you cur. Boy, I can't wait to get my nukes. How are we doing on those anyway? 52 days till we can start building reactors, and then after that, 45 is the expected year of uh, the nuclear bomb. But we'll have to build up our reactors ahead of that anyway. I want some anti tank, but I'm not sure if I want to want some anti tank. Well, might as well research some field hospital, right? No, we finished construction. We need more construction. Helps us a little bit. I'm not sure how much, but a bit. Don't move there, you fool. So we've got a front of five provinces, two on each. We should be fine to defend all this. We have mountaineers, they're not going to help you down here. I could walk in and take this, but it would just extend my front more, and I don't want that. Jake, what's that flag? What's that dove flag of Canada about? Oh, I see. Well, it's the British Raj, and they want a non-aggression pact. But I keep telling them to go and do one. All right, Sweden, if you can force the capitulation of Italy, you're doing the whole world a favor. 
the Soviets continuing to hold that line against all odds. Outnumbered, outgunned, the Japanese sadly also holding. I really want, just want to enter that and smash down that front. And would you believe it, I actually have some units who could potentially assist the Japanese front. Oh, sorry, I just punched my microphone there. Could assist in that front. I leave it to you, Chet. Chet. Chat. Do we take our mechas? Before I want to make sure the mechas actually have everything I want them to. Maintenance company would probably help them out to get that reliability up. And their soft attack is pretty garbage. If I gave them support artillery, it would go way up. That's expensive, but I think I will give them this. Okay, it's going to cost more manpower, but hey, we've got that to spare, right? I am getting a whole load of... Oh, it's kind of split between Japan and Turkey. Can we get... Uh, can any of the moderators throw up a poll on that one? It's going to take a wee while for them to train up again anyway. We'll treat them until next month. Get a bit of a straw poll going and see if uh, if we should take on Japan or Turkey. Turkey are running a bit wild. Oh, actually, they are they're on my border here. That's messing up this front, isn't it? No, we have our front set to go there, but I don't like the fact that they've got Azerbaijan back in the hands of filthy Iran. You know how hard it was for me to expunge their presence from the world? Jake, I think that artillery just shredded your me uh, mechanized speed. You would think that, but no. Support does not affect speed, and that's important. That's why you would want to have support artillery rather than an actual artillery unit. Alright, I better open this up so I can... Wait, what? What do you mean, thanks? Okay, someone's going to have to link that for me. There we go. Straw pulls on here. What does the world come to? Took another bite out of my uh, army there. Rather, my manpower, but what can you do? I never had that to begin with. Close air support, special forces. You have to be honest, I don't need any of these. Hmm, close air support. Nah, I don't need any more focuses, really. Okay, overwhelming support for Turkey. Incredible. Probably means I'm going to go for Japan. Because this is not a democracy. This is communism. And it's deadlock, though. What did I accomplish by taking Africa? I'm sure I'm not the only person in the world to have thought that, but really... They have reasonable attack, but they just plow in and get plowed for it. Okay, but what I can do then is push forward thanks to that. If he wants to waste his organization, then that gives me a freebie entering here. Of course, he then wants to attack me, which causes more issues. But that also allows me to push the front just a little bit more without, re without many real losses to me. I'm sure they could sort the line out amongst themselves with that. Whew. You sowed the carcasses of your troops across a huge continent. Yeah, no kidding, we're still losing a load of those troops. I wouldn't have enough manpower to put field hospitals on all of my, uh, all of my troops. How regrettable. Okay, the Soviets finally plowing in there. Jake, if you don't take Japan, you're stuck with a border to the bloody USA. I don't think the USA are going to be launching anything all that six. Oh my. Well, the United Kingdom tried it. Hold on, I know a focus I need. I need some naval effort going on. I don't know where El Aguila is. 
But it's under my control. Yeah, forget it. I cannot naval invade, and I probably never will in this. It requires a focus that I just can't do. You're advancing on that, right? Of course you are. There we go. Best way to take advantage of them attacking us. Jake, are you already scraping the barrel? Yes, I am. Heavens, yes, I am. Alright, it's August. They're ready to roll. All of them, in fact. Alright, so what did the poll say? Jinx, you guys must really hate uh, Turks. 420... Ugh. Okay, but it's unanimously Turkey. We'll get our mechas deployed. We're not going to have any manpower to do, to make any more, so we're stuck with what we've got. Uh, you kind of deserve your own leader. Since you're going to be doing the real fighting here. But it's difficult, because... Well, I have you taking care of the desert. I guess I could just give you a new commander. You're a bit weak, but... It's necessary, to a degree. So please, strategically deploy your way over here. Interesting that you find that the faster way to go. But there's a whole lot of nasty going on over there. And I could do with some Soviets uh, soaking up the damage for me. Whew. Jake, could you disband police to get extra manpower? I could. I certainly could. But the police are helping me with a lot of this. So that's why I'm keeping them here. I mean, take Baghdad here. Yes, I mean, take you for example. I could select you and go goodbye. And then, poof, I get a thousand manpower. And really I have 27,000 manpower sitting on these. 26, really. So yes, I could dismiss my police for that, but then these provinces would all uh, revolt horribly, and I'm not—I'm uh, not really wanting that. Excuse me. The sniff gate. Oh my days! <laughs> Loving the uh, the neutrality of Switzerland here, but wow, Sweden and the UK nailing Italy. Although they did not hold on to Rome, which worries me slightly. Jeez, Germany! You've You've exhausted yourself. I would love to know stats for Germany. It's possible that they've ran out of people to throw into this war, because they've been fighting non-stop. They have all adults serving, but is that going to be enough? Bearing in mind, in December this year, we'll see if our coup has succeeded. And if it has, that'll be bad times for them. Come on, Soviets, you're so pathetic. Alright, we're going to make our way over there. The attrition probably won't be very nice for us, but we'll try. Jake, could you change laws to harsh instead of gentle? Well, I could. Where are we? Era. So if I do it on the harshest, it's going to cost me power, uh, political power, which I don't really have anymore. And it's also going to lower my manpower, which... No. Then again, I could do gentlest occupation of Italy and, well, everybody that I'm occupying. There's a slight chance that'll give me some manpower, but it's low. 18.27? No, I don't think it's going to go up. There's just no population to be had. Oh, finally. Let's get nuclear, folks. Yeah, this is expensive, but we're going to do it anyway. 510 days. I want to be able to nuke. I dream of it. So now we have to start building nuclear reactors. We don't have many places to put them, but we'll do what we can. We're going to start in provinces that we actually own rather than occupy. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I took this over ages ago. I don't remember having this though. This is mine though, unquestionably mine. So let's throw a nuclear reactor there. Let's ignore all of this crap. So you're going to be done when? In 43, you take so long to do. 
The question is, are there any trades that I can get rid of? For example, steel. I don't need quite so much steel. So, into three, four, maybe? That's still going to leave me a bit of a deficit, but I'll go with that. I have a surplus of tungsten, but that's okay. I have a surplus of aluminium. That's also not okay. How are we doing with that? Freeze up some construction. We'll get this done that bit faster then. 4th of May, 43. Almost acceptable, and then we'll very slowly enter the nuclear age. If I just had more factories, I'd be a happier man. <sighs> Constructions, consumer goods, imports, they all hurt me there. Now, if I went for total mobilization... Okay, recruitable population would drop, so that's out of the question. Yeah, too, too far out of the question. Jake, isn't this the time to teach your people about fighters to escort your bombers? Yes, yes it is. I'm going to need to research. Well, I've got my interwar fighters coming. And we are producing some strategic bombers ever so slowly, but we are producing them. They have more priority than my naval stuff, that's for certain. They're going slowly now, thanks to the lack of aluminium. Needs must. Still lacking the rubber, though. I think I have way too many mechanized. Oh well, it is what it is. So you want to do something about these Turks there, Russia? Excuse me. Man, I've been going for almost six hours today, that's insane. Are we going to nuke Turkey or Germany? We're going to nuke anyone we can. It's a shame it takes so long to build up those reactors, but... We can, but do what we can do. If I just had more factories, though. Scraping the barrel hurts the speed of this so badly, but thankfully we have other things helping out. I could stop scraping the barrel, but then it's goodbye manpower. What I could do is switch these guys out for some motorized, but my motorized use up a whole heap of manpower. Look at these guys, they only need 2,800. These fellows each... Yeah, 4,700. Where are you even? Did you make it? Oh, they made it, okay. Sadly though, this line is not going so well for my friends. What can I do? What I should do is punch. Right where the enemy is the weakest. And make our way through. Feels good to be twice as fast as infantry. Jake, nuke Tunisia. Cathargo. Nah. Nah, you're alright. No to the non-aggression pacts. I fight who I want. So we're armored, but I'm not just I'm not quite sure if we're armored enough. So our armor is 6.2. I strongly suspect that the Turks are going to have enough piercing to get through that. We'll find out momentarily. Aye, they're able to pierce us. It's more or less a given. Unfortunately, our mechas here are not really that great for this. got to assist the front where we can, because I need Turkey out of here. And I just hope that I don't melt in units here. Jinx Russia, you're such a joke in war. Jake, play historical nuke Japan. It would be good luck for me to actually uh, make it over there and manage that. Okay, they also have a decryption advantage. So what you're telling me is there are lots of disadvantages for me in these fights, even with my new fancy uh, armored trucks. Not that there are many of them, and they are being led by someone who's a bit incompetent. 
I could always switch you out for this general. Hopefully that doesn't hurt these guys too much, giving them someone that's a little subpar. And it means you guys fight that bit better now. And maybe you get a bit better at choosing the correct uh, tactic to use here. Why did not all of you go for it? Well, it still had some of you going in for that crappy attack. Jake, did the UK make good in their beachhead in Japan? I doubt it. No, they did not. But finally! Almost all of Japan has been purged from China. Disgustingly, it's the Soviet Union that took it. Naturally, it should all be going to the Union of Red Dragons. Let's ignore the fact that our dragon there is white. Turkey. You've given me a lot of trouble in a lot of games, but today you lose. No, they've still got plenty of uh, plenty of lots of things there. Let's just assist where we can. Push the Ottomans back. Jake, what if your field manpower... Wait, what if you field all your manpower, stop scraping the barrel, disband the field of manpower, possible exploit? Tried it before, didn't work. Alright, inch by inch, we're going to have to take this. Ah, it pains me to fight in the mountains. But there are a lot of mountains to be fighting in. We'll get our org back. At least we're not losing many people here. Jake, conquer Cuba, keep the missiles there. I've never successfully conquered Cuba in this game. It just doesn't seem to happen. So thankfully the Soviets are pouring in a lot of units here. What has been going on here? I must have lost track. I thought Hungary had gotten destroyed. But the Soviets are pushing in rather nicely here. Oh, Germany's in for a bad time here. They're getting a squeeze. Sadly, Italy have made a comeback. Amazing, despite me taking all this land from them in Africa. And we can finally build fighters. Now I wonder if it would be better of us to actually make uh, something that's not a pathetic biplane. I'd have to go bomber then heavy fighter to get some decent operational range there. Fighter 1, fighter 2, or bomber then heavy fighter. Hmm... Even Fighter 3 only has 1k range. Oh well. We can carry our way down here, I guess. I mean, I do need some air superiority. Jake, your past comes to haunt you. Look at the Turkish general. <laughs> yes. Well, if we're going to crush, might as well crush where there aren't mountains. The enemy's defense is too strong for me, though. This is agonizing. I don't have the... Uh, don't have the knowledge to push through here, either. Ah, this is just painful for us. Jake, upcoming coup hype. Hmm. Not a fan of the hype around here. But when it comes down to it, yes, it will be done on the 28th of December. And we're still growing the popularity of the uh, communists over in the German Reich. 30%, so... If every communist slay two fascists, we would win. And that's what we're good at doing, right? Uh, maybe let's not pay attention to those numbers. At least the Japanese are getting purged. But they won't capitulate unless their capital goes. Jake, what's the difference of the advantages between fighters and heavy fighters? Which ones are better for what? I don't have a good answer to that at the moment. I'll just leave it to you to check and game yourself. Still losing troops here that I'd rather not lose. Damn, it's 
one hell of a stalemate when it comes to Turkey. I wonder if I could take